Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel, Soul is Life. Today I'll be showing you the pieces that I will be working with. First we have the front section of the top, cut on a fold, shoulder area, waist area, bust area. The top is cut, seam allowance added all the way around and I marked the dots off on both sides. So this will be the front area of the top. So what I'm going to do with the front area, I'm going to go ahead, I mark the dots off. So I'm just going to go ahead and place a pin where I put the lining for the dot which is the marker line. So there we have half inch dart. Also gonna do it on the other side. I'm gonna fold in the seam allowance, which is half inch on both sides, so will be an inch dart. There you have it, both that spin. So I'm gonna go ahead and stitch the dart on both sides on the front section of the top. Here we have the both sleeves. We have the two pieces of sleeves cut in a fold. This will be the front area and this will be the back area. So with the sleeves, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and hem the bottom of the sleeve and I'm going to join the sides of the sleeves. I'm going to do that on both pieces. I'm going to hem the bottom of the sleeve and I'm going ahead and join both side pieces of the sleeves. The hem for the sleeve, I'm just going to fold in either a quarter two times or I'm going to fold in half inch two times. Whatever the seam allowance is that's what you're gonna fold. So I'm gonna go ahead, fold it down, hem it, and join the two sleeves, join the sleeves on each side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the sleeve. Here we have the back section of the top. Cut in a fold, seam allowances added, all the way around for the shoulder, the armhole, the sides, and the hem. So this will be the back section. And after I'm finished stitching the dots on the front of the top, I'm gonna go ahead and join the front and the back together. But I'm gonna show you how to do that when I get back. So let's begin. Here we have the front section of the top with both dots stitched down. What I did was I take front and the back section, placed them right side facing each other, and I pinned along the sides. So I'm going to do the same here as I did here. I'm going to pin along the sides and I'm going to stitch the seam allowance. I'm just going to go ahead and stitch all the way down. I'm going to do the same thing here and stitch all the way around, down. So now there's both sleeve pieces. This is one side and this is the other side of the sleeves. So this is what it looks like after I've joined the sides together 
and I've hemmed it. So this is what the sleeves look like. So I'm gonna go ahead now and join the front and back pieces of the top together. And then I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Now that I've completed sewing the sides together, the front and the back of the top is now joined. So what I'm going to do is pin the sleeve onto the armhole. So here I have this case pinned onto the armhole, both front and back. So what I did was I lined up the right side of the sleeves and the right sides of the top join them together and I just started pinning all the way around so I did this on both sides so here you have the sleeve pin and the sleeve pin so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just go ahead and sew all the way around the armhole to join the sleeves to the armhole. I'm going to do it on both sides and then I'll be back to show you what that looks like. Now that I've completed sewing the sleeves onto the top, Now that I've completed sewing the sleeves onto the top, what I did was I fold down a fold. You could do it half inch or you could do one inch or one and a half, depends on the size of your elastic. So I fold it in, I flat iron it down, and I pinned it. So I'm gonna I did that all the way from front to back including the sleeves. What I did also was I put a piece of elastic in here. I pinned a piece of elastic in here for two options. One, you could put the elastic from one end to the beginning of the shoulders where the armhole begins, the sleeves where the sleeve begins to the sleeve end. You could put one long elastic right here that's going to just bring it in you could also put an elastic all the way around that's also a second option or your third option is you could just do an elastic the length of from the middle out like about four or five inches on each side and you could just stretch it out stitch it down and that's going to also work for this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead now and flat stitch all the way around the fold and place an elastic in and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. 